Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another video today. I am working on a layout of my daughters. I did receive my hip kit for July and I, I just opened it today. Um, I didn't do like a haul or anything for this kit because I know Nicole um, Jones 911, she does the hip kit and it's a couple of others that do the hip kit. So I did not um, do a haul on this. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the layout. This is of my daughter. We were at the pool and um, she has this thing about... Um, jumping in she always has to do the sprinklers first i guess it's a way to warm her up to get into the pool but anyway i caught her um playing in the um sprinklers which is usually where we where we play when we have like my niece and nephew because they're a little bit younger and so anyway she was just over there playing in the sprinklers and i just caught her um playing a little bit and what I did was I had my photos printed um, in a collage. And so that way I get of uh, several sizes of different poses that I want to use. And today I'm just going to be using, um, I think this is going to be like a four. Um, let's see. Let's check the measurements on this. Uh, I'm going to cut it down to about a three and a half. Actually, it's not going to be three and a half. Let's see here. It's, it's almost a three. I'm just going to cut a little bit of my border off. So it's about three by four and a half photo. Yeah, three and a half by four um, photo is going to be my main photo. And then this little tiny one that I have is going to be... Um, it has on here two and a half by by two so it's a two by two and a half little uh, photo here I'm just gonna cut off some more of this um, bet the little border and so anyway let's see and then I also have um, Heidi Swap. If you guys remember this, I found these Heidi Swap um, wood, wood veneers. And I wanted to use Hello Sunshine. This is one of my summer layouts. And in my kit, what I did was it came with the Ellie Studio Let's Eat embellishments. And so what I did was I pulled out all of the embellishments. Here it is, the LA Studio. Um, let's eat. Um, so what I did was I pulled out all of the yellow, pinks, and um, this is like a sort of red to go with this um, summer fun fancy pants uh, paper. Because I really want to use the... Um, and what I'm thinking is I want to use this photo right here in the corner to fill in some of that empty space. But we'll see. It might go down here some in some of the empty space. And then I might add some um, embellishments. I'm Actually, I'm liking this so far. And I'm just playing around with this. So anyway, let's go ahead and yeah, I'm liking this layout already and I haven't glued anything this is what I do guys this is how I scrapbook I just um, lay things down and see how um, it looks together um, there's nothing really complex in my whole um, way of scrapbooking I should say or my style of scrapbooking um, I have pull this string uh this twine out the baker's twine out i had it a couple of videos ago and i've been favoring um this pink and white and i think it it goes great for the summer and so i might play around with this a little bit more and make me some knots or something and i th like i said i am loving this uh so far so okay let me go ahead and that didn't take long at all it didn't take any second guessing or anything so let me go ahead and start adhering my photos and my elements to the page my embellishments to the page 
and sometimes it works this fast sometimes I really do this is you know I get in here and I think uh, oh what am I gonna do with these photos how am I gonna lay this all out and I mean it comes just this simple this is actually the quickest layout I have done in a very long time I didn't know that I would like it but I really do I like this just like this and it it says everything and then all I have to do is add a few um, embellishments and I can go ahead and stick this layout into her album and then that's another thing for her album um, I usually have um, for my boys I have all black um, photo albums they're from the American craft I have all black for those for the boys and then the well basically the boys are older so the different lay um the different types of albums that were out at the time is they weren't especially with my oldest son they weren't as cute and graphic as the the photo albums that came out well not photo albums scrapbook albums that have come out recently and so a lot of hers are like um i have this I want to say a Maggie Holmes, I think it is. It has beautiful flowers on it. I'll have to show it to you guys. It's one of her albums. And then I also have an album um, that I picked up. I think it was a, Be a Becky Higgins. And it has flowers on it. And I really love it. So that's another thing. Also like your scrapbooking um, techniques and... Um, things like that it seems like it has changed for me like the older I get or not necessarily the older I get but the older the children get too like my whole scrapbooking style has changed if I look at my son's like my oldest son's uh, layouts and go through a lot of his things all of his albums look totally different his albums look like um, like cut and paste <laughs> and it did I did a lot of journaling on his albums so um, his his album is pretty much it looks totally like I said it looks totally different from how her album with her being the baby actually is the most um, most embellished I want to say the most embellished um, layouts because she, she's like I said she is the youngest and now all of the different tools and um, supplies that the scrapbook world has to offer is totally different from back in 2000 so anyway and I know like 2000 is not that long ago well it is it's what 15 years ago so it's still it baffles me of all the different um, things that they come out with and um, all of the how my scrapbooking has changed and I mean I mean my husband and everybody that sees my scrapbooks totally they can see like the difference in the um, in the layout so what I'm doing here is I'm just playing around um, let me make sure you guys can see that I'm gonna push it up just a little bit um, and another thing too guys if you could comment on my um, videos if they're too bright or too dark let me know I scrapbook at night um, sometimes at night anyway because I am a night shift worker and so I normally um, scrapbook on my days off because um, on my days off I'm not sleepy because I because I have gotten so used to uh, working nights that I'm usually not sleepy so um, I am a night scrapbooker, so if you guys ever, if it's ever too uh, dark, just let me know. But anyway, I'm going to play with this. Uh, I'll have to see in a minute. Let's go ahead and try to add some more um, embellishments onto here. I'm thinking um, of pulling out with a kit. It came with this um, chipboard stickers and stuff. 
Now, if you guys have run into this, let me know what is a way that you guys have been using this chipboard. I find it so hard to get them off of the um, off of the backing. It is like they're like stuck on there, and I don't want to tear my sticker that comes with it. But I, like I said, I have been having trouble getting them off. So uh, just give me a moment. I'm gonna have to. I want to use this hello here, and I'm thinking that I want to use um, maybe um, these flowers here also. So anyway, let me go ahead and I'm gonna play with those, and then I'll be right back. Now I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. So I did get it pulled off, and I still have some of the adhesive backing on there. But if you can see it. It's like coming off um, and then some of them I end up tearing them when I took them off of there because like I said it was so hard for me to um, get them on there so anyway let's go ahead and finish the layout but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive in order to um, adhere these to the page because this one is coming off you see that so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and use my quick dry um, adhesive to um, put it on the layout so anyway I really like these gold pieces and then I found this one sitting pool, uh, sitting poolside on that um, embellishment sheet so I was like yes that is how um, this is the one that I really want to use so now I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate incorporate some gold into this layout and so uh, oh and then I also tore this one off. It says splash fun on it. So that's pretty much uh, what she was doing. She was splashing into like the water pad thing. So that fit perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay that one down first. It does still have some of the backing on it. So I won't have to use the adhesive right away. And so anyway, I just wanted to put this camera stack right here onto this part but I didn't want to cover up too much of my my yellow that I had added before and then I was also thinking since I added some gold into it I might take my tag off and put some like gold ink on it to put some gold into um, more gold into the layout and then I'm just gonna put this down here because um, that's where I really wanted it to go and I'm just gonna and then this one, since it doesn't have the uh, um, adhesive on it anymore, I'm just taking my quick dry and put a few. I don't want to use it over my layout in case some um, might drop over it. So I wanted this arrow to point towards my title. And I'm using these dots on that tag as where I, you know, where I want to focus on. And then. I was thinking I needed to add some gold up here and so I found this little um, embellishment. What are these called? Like um, geotags. It almost looked like a geotag but then it also looks like one of those paper clips that you would use to put on a paper to like mark it. I don't know what the name of these are. But it had the adhesive backing on it. And so basically I wanted to put this right about here. I'm thinking to add some gold up here at the top where the where these are. And then here is where I wanted to add my bigger flower. And then I might move that down to here. The happy um, down here. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and add the adhesive. And I apologize if you guys can hear in the background. My little girl is in the background playing dolls with her cousin. And so, they are pretty loud. They are using their imaginations in there, I tell you. And, you know, using your imagination with your dolls and stuff, you get a little loud and excited. So I do apologize for that if you hear them. And so basically I want to add this one to, it has some little empty space right here where she's standing. So I'm just going to add this over here to the side. 
and then okay so that's all of those that i wanted to add to the layout now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this title off if it hasn't adhered all the way i just used a few dots but then again i don't want to break it so what i might do is i have my gold ink here um gold galaxy gold and so what i might do is i might take a sponge if i could find a sponge really quick and um sponge it onto this title so that it doesn't get onto my photo so finding a sponge in my office is hard but i always have these guys laying around <laughs> i don't know why but they're like black um, paint brushes little sponge paint brushes and this works perfectly fine and it's just adding a little gold shimmer i don't know if you guys can see that if you can see it and it's starting to brighten up on the camera it's just adding a really cool shimmer to this wood grain this wood piece and i really like that that's really cute so guys, once I finish this, this is actually going to complete the layout for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching. Bye.